there, Trip Eisenhower with Jaime Diaz, talking about uh, the man in red. Well, uh, didn't make much of a noise other than his event. Yeah. And, um, you know, you, you go back to Jack and Arnie having their event. Tiger talked about it a lot this week, him having his event. Um, maybe he should go to a course he designed. <laughs> because Palmer and Nicholas, yeah, they had their at own least course. They, they had their own footprints on the golf course. But he hadn't had much success here mm-hmm. at all. And, and the way he started, it looked like Tiger was oh. going to, just what you and I had talked about, yeah. looked like he was going to uh, continue to just be in contention every time he tees it up. Yeah. But golf is hard. Golf and is hard. And especially a golf course where you do not putt well. He's never gained strokes putting there, and which, ever. Which is strange because, I mean, he grew up around L.A. and he's putted great on Poana his whole life, but Riviera does something to him. I don't know what it is exactly. But, yeah, Tripp, in the bigger picture, as you mentioned, you know, certainly that was my thought going in, and I'm certainly, you know, willing to say I was wrong, that Tiger would be, number one, healthy, number two, really ready and motivated to play. And he wasn't really that ready at at Riviera. Uh, The first round, it looked good. No, I know he did, but, I mean, going into the tournament, he he hadn't hit a lot of balls. Now, of course, he had the President's Cup, and he had his time off, and I understand that. Uh, But I think this brings a whole new perspective on what his health is going to be. Because it's certainly, as you say, the first nine holes, he hit a great drive on nine after being, you know, eagle in one, and he looked perfect. And he came out of this wedge. Uh, one-handed, it got on the green, but from that point on, never made one of those great golf swings where you went, oh, that was flowing, and, yeah. he, and he stuck yeah. the finish. He was just off after that, and as we learned last year, he was off a lot before his knee surgery. So it makes you think, maybe something got tight in his back, maybe his knee's still giving him problems. I know that's a big leap, but it just seems to me that nothing indicated that Tiger would be ball striking poorly. No. Uh, and especially after that start. So I'm willing to say, hey, this is a one-off, but it does give you pause in terms of projecting forward the rest of the year. Who's he going to be? Well, I, I, I'm not going to go quite as far as you on that. Mm-hmm. I'm, going to, I'm just going to say the trend is your friend. That's yeah. what everybody always says. And the trend is he doesn't play well here. Yeah. I mean, he hadn't played poor, as poorly as he did this week. Right. I mean, let's be he honest. Finished I mean, last I mean, he, among yeah, the guys who made exactly. the cut. Exactly. Yeah. So he, he, this was as poor as he's played there making the cut. Um, but the, the other thing about Tiger and this golf course is I'm just going, there, there are places mm-hmm. that you, and, and players stay away from them. Yeah. We, you don't know it. There were a lot of people that lived in Orlando. That wouldn't play on, Bay Hill. That wouldn't play Bay Hill. Yeah. And everybody's like, you've got a, a tournament right there yeah. in your backyard. And they're like, I don't play that golf course well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, Chris DeMarco didn't play it uh, during yeah. the prime of his career. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand things like that. The problem is Tiger's hosted the tournament there, so he's got to show up now. Plus, every the year. legacy of Riviera is, you know, Hogan played yeah. it great. You know, and Jack Nick never, won, never there, won Never won there. You know, Freddie loved it. Everybody, yeah. everybody always talks about it like, man, it's a shot maker's course, and who's a better shot maker than Tiger? Yeah. And yet, golf's so finicky and intangible, right? There's something about it that doesn't fit him. Uh, I wonder if it's the cocoon, he, he, you know, it, you can miss in certain places at Riviera, obviously. I mean, any course you can, but Riviera doesn't give you that many areas to really miss it, does it? No, uh, yeah. no. I mean, it, it's yeah. it's a fine line. I mean, yeah. you got to mm-hmm. – but but it, to me, it's it's really – you look at his performance on the green. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't good again this year. No, I mean, I this is probably the only place he's played this many times and has negative strokes gain putting. Yeah. I mean, it's negative go. for his career. He doesn't drive – he drives the ball here better than the winners on average. He does. Wow. So – uh, it's not that mm-hmm. you know. Normally, you'd say, "Well, Tiger doesn't play well here because the tee ball gets no. him in trouble." It, but here's the thing. And and uh, 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 about last week, I, I'm just going to chalk it up to that. He's hopefully going to figure this out sometime. He's going to have the chance to do it. But let's let's move on to Tiger yeah. and mm-hmm. deciding to skip the WGC Mexico yeah. event. You know, with him trying to uh, really, ha- I think this is his. It was certainly his best opportunity to be on the Olympic team. Yeah. But with four years in between, mm-hmm. he's got to he's got to have a good focus if he really wants to do this and go for the gold slam. He, and he and he did talk about it. Like yeah. you know, he loves making history, and nobody's ever won the gold slam in the men's in well, Indy Park actually hasn't either because no. they can't. But let's give it to her because yeah. you know she's won four majors. Now there's a fifth. She didn't <laughs> and she won that tournament, but didn't get credit for it because it wasn't a major. Yes. Holy cow! Yeah. So, but in any event, Tiger certainly wants to be singular in history, and this was an opportunity. And he loves athletics, and he'd love to be in that, Colise- you know, in that L.A. Coliseum coming in. Well, that's that's, no, that's, that's next time. Japan. This it's is Japan, Japan now. Yeah. But the point being, you know, he wants to be among the great elite athletes. Yeah. And 
So I, skipping an event with, with wow. uh, free world ranking and all the free world ranking and plus how many he's won eighteen WGC events. I mean, oh, it's, you yeah, know, it's phenomenal. I mean, for him to skip with WGC, it, it just it's a little bit of an alarm bell going. Wow, you know, he needs more time and rest, and maybe he's got a really micro strike just a few tournaments a year to be truly ready. Not yeah. truly ready every week. And the Masters, he mentioned it. You know, this is all preparation for the Masters, and he last year he peaked at the right time and he kind of stole it. But maybe his margins are so thin that he can't maybe. mess around with getting tired or getting strain in his body. But it could also be too, Jaime. He didn't like the golf course. Yeah. Possibly. I mean, that, that could be it, too. And, and you know, money doesn't mean no. – obviously, money is not a driving factor. It would just be the world ranking points. But to, to me, I, I don't think Tiger's worried about that because he's like, if I go to a golf course, I don't necessarily I'm not like, get and I don't, and I'm not anyway, going yeah. to play that well yeah. anyway. I'd rather get ready for a place we know he's played well, which is Bay, Bay Hill. Hill. Yeah. And – there's speculation. Does he play Honda? I don't think he does. Probably not, but it does give him an opportunity if he feels good next week to try exactly, it. Exactly, and it's yeah. a home game. So yeah, you're right. I mean, we I, I, you put too much emphasis on the on the free points, so to speak, and uh, also a chance to win a tournament because I think it's easier to win with a smaller field than it is. I don't care if it is the greatest players in the world. One for these six players is no. That's true. Is, I mean, I, anybody that yeah, says yeah. well. Uh, you know, it, it's the best in the world. Well, it is, but anytime you throw, I, if yeah. you're on the PGA Tour, you're, you're, capable, you're, of winning. you're capable of winning, yeah, yeah. and you, you're, you're eliminating half the field that you have to beat right off the yeah, bat. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I'm going to, I'm again, I'm going to chalk it up to the fact that I think it's, it's the golf course didn't suit his eye. Yeah. He, um, he needs the red, he needs to be about quality over quantity. Yeah. And I think that's less what is this more is. Yeah. more than ever, maybe and even more than we thought. He's got places on his schedule coming up that he is absolutely feasted on. And, and and Bay is, Hill players, yeah. Masters, those are going to be more important. And to support your premise too. A lot of guys are skipping Mexico. They are. You know, here we are at a WC. Those things used to be like, oh man, this is the gold standard. We got to be there. And you got Bruce Kepka, you got Ricky Fowler, Jason Day. Um, Justin Rose, yeah. Tiger joining these guys. Stenson. Money doesn't mean as much anymore. It's hard right? to get these guys to play if it's not optimal and doesn't fit their – and also the compressed schedule has made it tough, it I think, to pace yourself over the year. Yeah. It has. Well, there's no problem with us <laughs> deciding to play this week. That's Jaime. I'm Tripp. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.